Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Brandon, I'm designer slash cat cat. And today we're playing Lego Worlds. How you guys doing? Hi, hi, hi. Welcome everybody, welcome, welcome. If you're enjoying these episodes, please hit the like button. It really helps out my channel. Hit subscribe and ding that little bell so you get notified as soon as there's a new video on the channel. Also subscribe to all of my other YouTube channels. So, one of you guys wanted to know, I think it was you, Alex, how you can download Bricksburg from the website. So we're gonna go through that right now before we get started building the amazing Safari Lodge built by our friend Pedro Productions. So be sure you guys thank them on uh, Discord. All right, you guys ready? So first of all, of course, you wanna go to my website, designer slash gamer.com. And actually, if you haven't seen the website yet, it's pretty, I'm pretty proud of it. I've made the website myself. I maintain it myself. And here you can view my schedule. You can even buy Steam codes from this awesome website that I always use to buy all of my games from because you can get really, really good prices on games. And if you if you go through my website and you purchase it this way, then I get a little bit of credit for that. So it's a really nice way to help out the channel, but you can get really good prices on games. Anyway, so there's that. But also, this website is a great place for you to watch. Uh, well, you can also read articles about games that um, that we have on the website. And there's also a, a place, a landing page for every single one of my videos across all of my YouTube channels. So let's say you like Lego games. Click on that. And in here, you'll have all of my playlists that are related to Lego games. So whether it's Lego Worlds, Lego Dimensions, Lego Star Wars, all of it is right here. In fact, Lego Worlds has its own landing page as well because there's so many series. So all of that is it's so much easier, I think, to find the videos you wanna watch this way than it is on YouTube because it's just really, really hard to navigate. Since I have so many YouTube channels, it's kind of hard to find like what is where. So it's all split up by category. And if you just wanna watch highlight clips, like all the funny moments, you can click on this and take you to Rosie's channel. And she maintains all of my clips. There's thousands, let's get some music back here, you guys. There's thousands of clips from all the different games I play and you can watch those on there. So the website's a great place to go. Um, and you can join. You can join, and then if you join, you have access to a whole slew of cool things. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to download Bricksburg from the website and how to put it on your computer. Okay, we're gonna go to File Share. And then here, we're gonna go scroll down to Bricksburg, right? So click on Bricksburg. And then at the very top of the list is the most recent version. Now we have Bricksburg files all the way back to when we first started back in February of 2019. So you can go all the way back in time and get earlier versions of Bricksburg if you want. Okay, so you're gonna, I'm not gonna download this cause I already have Bricksburg, but you're basically gonna download this file. So click it, you're gonna download it to your downloads folder. And then you're gonna go onto your computer this PC, now you have to have all of your files unhidden, so make sure you unhide all of your folders, because some of your folders are hidden. So make sure you do that. And you can Google that if you don't know how to do it. Unhide your folders, go to this PC, disk C, and these are gonna be hidden, let's see, where are they? Not, sorry, this isn't hidden. Users, that's my user. App data will be hidden normally. I don't know if you guys can, hopefully you can see that. Right up here. App data will be hidden normally. You have to unhide it. App data, roaming, Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment. And you can also Google this if you don't know where these files are. You can Google it. Where are the LEGO Worlds files stored? LEGO Worlds, saved games, content. And in here is where you're going to extract that file you downloaded from the website. Drop it in here. Now it's gonna be S2 because I keep Bricksburg in slot two. So if you want it in slot two, great. If you don't want it in slot two, make sure you change that to a different slot. That's it, very simple. All right, you guys, let's go in and play. So how's everybody doing today? Hello. Jaeger, I did see your arena. Um, I think we're gonna build a bigger one though. So we're probably not gonna use your arena because I want to build a really big arena. But that's awesome you made a Mosasaurus arena. Hi, game fun. Hi, Blake. 
How you guys doing? Welcome. So our friend Pedro Pictures, Pedro Productions, TM, made a really cool safari lodge that we're gonna put in uh, Jurassic World today. And he also made a storage shed that fits, so we're gonna put that in as well, so it'll be fun. DSG, I have a bunch of cool buildings on my Brick, brick Safe page if you want to use them. Absolutely. Welcome Can you link your Brick Safe page on the Whoa. Discord server on uh, the model sharing thread for Bricksburg? That'd be great. Or just tweet me the link or however you wanna get it to me. Okay. Ready guys? Here we go, slot two, yes, confirm load. Okay, so Bricksburg is here, right here. Hello, Ian, how's it going? Hi, Dante. You're a huge fan, oh, awesome. <laughs> I'm your favorite director, thanks, Alex. Hi, Poe, what's up? Hi, Ty. How you guys doing? We're inventing ice cream recipes. Did you guys know that? Yum. This always reminds me of SimCity. Did you guys ever play old school SimCity? While the game was loading, it always had like these ridiculous like things that it was doing. <laughs> Telling you, reticulating splines. Hi, Max. What's up, buddy? How you doing? You're doing great. That's, I'm so glad to hear that. Okay, you guys, we need to figure out where to put this safari lodge. So let's walk around Bricksburg, uh, Bricksburg, um, Jurassic World, and figure out, oh, we should probably put it in the foyer, in the jungle, right, Max? <gasps> Max, are you okay? You okay, buddy? I guess he's okay, guys. Good thing he's wearing that hard hat. <laughs> okay, let's go over to the jungle and find a good spot for the Safari Lodge. Now, it's kind of a modular building. So we're going to build it. It has, it's, so do you guys remember the Safari Lodge from Jurassic World Evolution 2? It's kind of like that one, it's very similar. Blake says, I think for the Mosasaurus Arena, you should have a fence overlooking it and use the shark showcase model, but remove the fin. You mean that thing? Good idea. That's a great idea. The shark without the fin? You think we could turn that into a Mosasaurus? I bet you we could. No, Max, up, up, up. There you go. You're right, without the fin. I bet you we could make that into a Mosasaurus. That's a good idea. That's a very good idea. Alex says, I love that you're so happy. It's kind of, in it's so enjoyable. Oh, yay. <laughs> Your visa should be getting mills of views. Yeah, my video should be getting millions of views. Well, that would be nice. <laughs> we do have millions of views on the main channel though. Right, Max? I Last time I checked, we were up to five million views. So we're probably like five and a half million views. So good job, Max. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, you guys, where are we gonna put the Safari Lodge? Hey, if you guys missed the lapis, last lapis, I can't talk today. If you missed the last episode, Max is such an acrobat. If you missed the last episode, we built um, something down here. So let's go check that out. Let's go this way. Come on, Max. Let's go check that out. So basically it's a, um, it's a uh, a mobile research facility also made by Pedro Productions. How do we get to it? Can we get to it from this way? We'll go around. <laughs> I don't know how to get to it from over here. We're gonna sneak through here. Yeah, it's over this way. We're going the back way, you guys. Here it is. Okay, cool. So this is basically like a mobile, um, like a mobile research place where you can come and do some dinosaur research and you've got your little vehicle parked right here, right? But it has everything you need. Everything from like refrigerators for food if you get hungry to like stations and 
everything you need to research dinosaurs. So it's perfect. Okay, you guys, let's try and figure out where to put this lodge. Somewhere in the jungly sections? Oh, what about over here? What about back? We're running out of space, you guys. We're gonna have to bust through this mountain here so we have more space next to T-Rex Kingdom. Can we put it in here? Should we put it in the actual jungle? Next to T-Rex Kingdom? Oh, you guys, it, it, so I just hiccuped. It could be really cool in here. Build a roller coaster in the future and a real cinema, not a concert hall. Maybe. You posted it on Discord. Awesome game fun. Thank you. I'll check it out. My Jurassic World is one tenth than yours. Is it a lot smaller? This one's pretty big. It's ginormous. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this lodge, you guys. Where is it? Oh, what did I call it? I try to name everything Jurassic that we need for this so it's easier to find. Okay, where is it? Oh yeah, here it is! Okay, so he made multiple versions of the hut. There's some with like a door open, some with a door closed, and then there's like, there's like walkways too. What did I name those? Did I not name them Jurassic? I'm so silly, I named them walk. Oh, here they are. So there's, they're like bridges that connect. I kind of had to cut it apart because he built the whole lodge in like a world, but it wasn't like, I couldn't use it as a model. So I had to like cut it in pieces. All right, let's start with, which one's the main building? There's a main building, but I'm not sure which one it is. Maybe it's this one, bungalow three. Okay, I guess we're gonna start here, you guys. Yeah, let's start here. Okay, so we uh, we are going to, oh, this is gonna be interesting. I guess we could make the pillars longer, you guys. This is so cool. Can you imagine hanging out in a lodge right next to T-Rex Kingdom? I think that would be amazing. Okay, we need to turn off overlap and we're gonna put it down. <gasps> wow, okay, we might have to fix some of these pillars because I don't know if they all go into the ground, but we'll do our best. So basically we have these lodges, right? And then we connect them with bridges. So the bridges are here and then there's stairs. So I think the way he built it was the bridges are connected to the side like this. I think that's how he built it. Let's try that. So then there'd be one next to this door here like that. And then the bridges would be like walkways. But the other cool thing you can do is you can change the height of these walkways, right? So like, for example, he has these stairs that he made. So now the walkway could go down. Well, we probably don't want it to go down that way. Let's have it go down this way. So now the walkway could go down, right? Let's see, how should we do that? Like this? Yeah, okay. And then you'd get another bridge, right? And you'd put that here, like that. We'll have to like fix the railing, but that's essentially what it does. And then that way, and then of course, if you want to, you can put a corner piece in, right? And this way, you can have some lodges like back there or something. Just like that. Pretty cool. Okay, so I think we probably should have it go up again. And we'll have to clean some of it up because like right there is a little bit messed up, but we can fix that. So maybe the stairs go up here. Actually, let's just do it right now. It's gonna bug me. <laughs> huh? Oh no, we can't do it like that. Okay, we'll do that later. All right, so then back to this. And we'll put another bungalow like higher up, right? Let's have it do this like that. Yeah. 
And then we'll have to fix that railing because that looks kind of gnarly. That's kind of gnarly, but it's an easy fix. Okay, let's put another bungalow like right here. And this time we'll do a different one. I think we used bungalow three. Let's do bungalow one because this one has like a closed door. And then I'll go over there and show you guys what the insides of the bungalow looks like. Let's see if we can line it up. Actually, we're going to put stairs up to it. So we're going to push it back a little bit like that. Yeah. Okay. Then we'll get our stairs in here. So if you're staying in this lodge, you guys, you're going to be able to hear the T-Rex is growling like really close to you. <laughs> and it's going to be amazing. All right, let's try that. What's that going to do? It's perfect. Look at that, you guys. That's amazing. So we'll have to fix the railing right here. But either way, either way, you've got this super cool lodge that you can stay in. Okay, let's spin the sky. It's kind of dark. Either way, you have this super cool lodge that you get to stay in. Hanging out with the dinosaurs and hearing the T-Rexes growl. Okay, we got to fix this too. <laughs> no, Max. Oh, actually, we can show you guys the roof. So the way he built this was, it's kind of an open air, right? Because it's kind of jungly. So your roof is like open air to the rest here. And then Max, quit climbing on the walls. And then in here, oh wait, this is the main, okay. So this is the main uh, check-in area, right? So there's two computers here. So when you want to check in, you come up to the front desk and then the nice person here is going to check you into the hotel and you get your own little spot to hang out in. Uh, Poe says this DSG is Lego World's multiplayer. Not really. I mean, kind of. You can go online in Steam and you can open up your game to multiplayer. So it's kind of multiplayer, but it's not really a heavy focus of it. Alex says, when does the park open for the people at DSG? Um, I don't know. Maybe when we get it a little more finished. <laughs> at least when we have a place for people to stay, right? And we're already getting close to that point now that we have lodging. Okay, so let's go ahead and build another section of the fence. Oh, I wonder if we should um, just put stairs now up here. Oh, but wait, we need to build... We'll have to build like a platform right there. Okay, let's do this. Let's put in another another one of these and then we'll just remove the um the railings. Cause I didn't build a separate uh what do you call it? Yeah. Then we'll just remove the railings. That's pretty easy to do. Yeah. Perfect. How wide is that door? Is that about the same width as the door? Yeah. Oh, a little bit bigger, I guess. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, hopefully that game sounds aren't too loud. I can't tell what they're at. Hey, Spencer. Yes, this is a hotel. This is a... Well, it's a... It's a safari lodge that's built into the mountainside near... Oh, look, there's a T-Rex! It's built into the mountainside near the T-Rex kingdom kind of overlooking the rest of Jurassic World. So one of our friends actually on Discord built this modular building for us and sent it to me a few days ago. So we're adapting it to fit in our world here. All right, so now that we have that done, let's get some stairs in. Wait, how are you gonna access this? Oh, we gotta go all the way down. We're gonna have to build like a pathway all the way through here and some stairs. Let's put in this, let's, Let's carve out some of this so we can put stairs in. All right, we're gonna change to the sphere so we can make this carving look more natural. And we're gonna carve this out. We're gonna carve out some of this. Just so we have some space for our stairs to go here. And then the stairs, look, we can build another like section here. Okay, let's carve some of that out. 
And then we're, we're gonna smooth this. Where's my smooth? There it is. Can I do the round one? Yeah. Okay. Let's make that a little bit smaller. And we're just gonna smooth this down a little bit. Okay, and then let's paint that with the grass. There we go. All right, that's better. Okay, where are our stairs, you guys? Let's get our stairs back. Here they are. So we should be able to put these all the way. Let's see how this works. Yeah, we should be able to start here. Right? Yeah, beautiful. And then we're gonna come down. And hopefully the way he made it, it's gonna work. Oh, it's pretty steep, you guys. We're gonna have to clear out more. <laughs> it's like super steep. All right, let's undo that one. And let's actually clear out a little more of that. Because we're gonna need quite a bit more space here for these stairs. Maybe not quite that much, but that's fine. We'll just fill it in with like foliage and stuff so you can't see back there. We'll make it look nice. Okay. I mean, you have to be able to access the front door, right? If you're gonna stay in this lodge, you have to be able to get to it. So let's do that. Oh, you know, we to make it not so steep, why don't we do this? Let's have it connect a little differently. Um, like that? Then it's not quite as steep. Yeah, that's good. Like that. Oh no, that's wrong! There we go. Yeah, that's better. And we'll just put like plants back there. You wouldn't even be able to tell. Okay, then why don't we build the bridge now? Let's build the bridge coming this direction. When I'm building you guys, the way I like to build is to do the major parts first and then add details in later. Hey, that actually works pretty well to do it like that. Perfect. Okay, then maybe here we'll actually put in the corner piece, this guy, and it'll come around. And then can we actually come back this way? Oh, we can. Brilliant, look at that. I want to fix that, that's fine. Okay, cool. And then how are we doing there? Maybe we'll have it come another, have it zigzag once more here. And then now it can come back down this way. Yeah, perfect. Okay, let's have it come across. And you guys, we're gonna build some support uh, support the poles in there so it doesn't look like it's floating. I mean, it can float because it doesn't matter in this world, but still. Okay. We're going to come out a little further and then we'll build some stairs down. All right. And I promise to check the chat here momentarily. I like to get some work done before I check the chat. So we're not checking the chat too often. We're still getting work done. Okay, then let's go down maybe one more. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, then we'll build some more of these. Who is, what is that sound? Who's like jumping? Do you guys hear that? Someone's like jumping somewhere. It's kind of a long way to walk up to the hotel, you guys, but it's worth it. Okay, so then we'll have it, let's have it come around with this, and then we'll build some stairs in right there. And a nice little pathway. And let's actually remove this. You just square. Cube. Okay. There we go. All right, guys. Now we can put in the stairs. Where are my little stairs? I'm going to put a little pathway in. Oh, we should put some torches along the pathway. That'll be cool. Oh, 
beautiful. I love it. And I guess we'll do one. No, that's good. That's good. Look at that. <gasps> that's amazing. Now all we have to do now is like fill, like build more uh, bridges and more units and then fill it in with like foliage and trees and lighting and stuff. Let's put a little pathway in. Where would you, the, ooh, we don't have any space for a pathway. What if it goes over this way? Can you get to it? Oh yeah, you can get to it from there. Okay, I'm gonna remove this junk here. We don't need this stuff, you guys. Oh wait, let me check the chat, sorry. Maybe you should make another resort on the other side of Jurassic World instead, using the log cabins from the Ivory City Jurassic World. Yeah, maybe we could do that. I also wanna build a big hotel, like that big white hotel they have in Jurassic World. What's your favorite uh, brick build? Mine is Egyptian bath house. Um, I don't know. I think I like the Ninjago City brick builds the best. They're amazing. Bye Dante, thanks for, thanks for joining. How did Jurassic Park get destroyed in Ivory City? Well, Ivory City got destroyed during the Great Christmas Donut Conspiracy when uh, when all the villains decided to fight <laughs> and they destroyed everything. So it's gone. And that's why we've moved it here to this beautiful world. And this is actually this Jurassic, there he is. There's, you're the one being so loud. You just be quiet. Much better. <laughs> so this Jurassic World is way better. I think my game sounds are too loud. Let me turn, oh, I can't turn them down. Okay, sorry guys, cover your ears. This is gonna be kind of loud for a second while I'm getting rid of all these. Cause I can't turn down the game sound. It's so loud, sorry, sorry. It's so loud. Okay. There we go. Okay, that's perfect. Now we have plenty of space to put in some kind of pathway. Um, we gotta, this is kind of a mess right here, you guys. I don't know if I wanna have this. I think we're gonna move this. Let's move the rock people enclosure because I don't, I think I'd rather have the hotel be accessible from this side. Okay, first things first. Max, what are you doing up there? What are you doing? Hey. All right, let's spin this guy, you guys. We're gonna get rid of the rock enclosure here so we have space for the entry of the hotel. And we'll just move it somewhere else. It was kind of just a placeholder anyway, to be honest. Okay, let's remove that. Okay, we need to make this bigger though. Okay guys, cover your ears, it's gonna be so loud. Sorry. And you can also use the flatten tool, but I mean, whatever you prefer. Really. The flatten tool is probably a little faster, TBH. Oh no, dang it. I cut the ground out. Okay, where's the ground level? Is that the ground level? Nope. Is that ground level? That's ground level, all right. Yeah, so if you use the, um, if you use the flatten tool, just be aware that it's going to paint your ground with any textures that are above when you're flattening. So be aware of that. Okay, guys, you're going to have to find a new home. I'm sorry. I just, I can't have you here right now because this, this space needs to be for our hotel. So let's get the grass. What is it? Rainforest floor. And we're going to paint all this. And rainforest floor. Okay, so now we can actually have a real entrance. A real entrance to this here. 
Let's actually get rid of these guys. You guys are gonna be menacing to the hotel guests, so I can't have you here loitering at the entrance. I don't know why there was an eagle right there. I can't have them here loitering at the entrance to our beautiful hotel. They're gonna be causing all kinds of trouble and mayhem. Okay, so here's the entrance to the hotel. So I would think we'd wanna build a nice pathway out to the road. Let's bring the road a little closer, you guys. Let's bring the road a little bit closer. So how should we do this? Jurassic Road. Where's my Jurassic Road? And as always, you guys, when we're done today, I will put this world on the website, designer gamer.com and you can download it. And as long as you're on PC, you can hang out in it and destroy it if you want to, or do whatever. Yeager says, DSG, the townhouse I made is perfect for their neighborhood. Um, yes, but probably not for Jurassic World. Um, but yes, the townhouse you made could go in the other parts of the city. But right now, we're focusing on... Jurassic World. Okay, we don't really have any neighborhoods in Jurassic World. We have hotels though. Okay, so if we have the road go this way, yeah. That should work. Okay, let's bring the road. Is that right? No, that's terrible. Let's go down. Are we lined up? We're lined up, beautiful, all right. So now if the road comes this way, Let's do this. Here we go. So this is basically the dead end of the road. I mean, I guess we could make a T intersection. Do we want the road to go that way? No. There's really no more room back here. So yeah, this is the end of the road. We're going to have to expand Jurassic World though, you guys. It is not quite big enough for all the cool things we want to do. Okay, so the road is going to end right here at the entrance to the hotel. And we're going to make this look nice. Let me think about this for a second. What if... Oh, 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 I have an idea. What if we do this? What if we make a little section? Uh, which way does this go? Like that, okay. So what if we make a little section that goes around? That's, we're basically centered, right? Is there a room here? Let's try this. We're gonna make a little section that goes around. So we wanna do this one. How am I gonna do this? Like this? Let me see what'll happen. Um, What I'd like to do is build like a a little roundabout thing here, but I don't know that we have room for that, you guys. No, we don't have room for that. We're fine. You know what? We're just gonna end the road here and we'll build like a nice little plaza with benches and stuff. So let's do this. Let's put in one of these back here and we're gonna get rid of the sidewalks and we'll just use this as like a pattern for the ground. That'll look nice. But we'll get rid of the sidewalks, because we don't need sidewalks. And we'll put some cool benches in and stuff, and then a little pathway that goes from there. Okay, uh, let's put this in here so we have a sidewalk to the edge. Yeah. And then... We'll have to figure out that pattern. Okay, yeah, we're getting there. Let's put in a little pathway. What did I call that? There it is. I like this little brown pathway. I think it looks nice, especially for like a safari type log, you guys. This to me kind of says, hey, look, there's a safari lodge up here. So we have a cool little pathway to get to it. So there's a nice little, little pathway leading up that way. Let's put it, let's make this whole thing. Make, actually, yeah, this, this whole thing will just be like cobblestone pathway right here. That'll look nice. And we'll get some torches in here. Make it look very homey. Ooh, I like that. 
Okay, well, how are we gonna deal with this? Hey, let's round this out, you guys. I'm gonna smooth this off a little bit here. Let's smooth this off because it looks kind of looks kind of bad. That's much better. Much better. Okay, let's get our little pathways in here. As always, if you guys have suggestions, feel free to let me know and I'll try to keep up with the chat. Jurassic Explorer says, my brother is with me and he is really excited. So shout out to him, please. Shout out to Jurassic Explorer's brother. <laughs> You see, everything I think about is that your movie is masterpieces. Oh, thanks, Alex. I'm glad you liked my movies. I put a lot of effort into those, so I'm glad that you guys appreciate them. Those things take me forever. <laughs> they take so long, but I love doing them. It's one of those things that sort of takes forever to do. Okay, what do we have? Well, I gotta fix that. But for now, let's just put this in and make this look all nice right here. Yeah, this looks good. Move that. Yeah, and we'll make this look kind of organically shaped around here. Beautiful. We gotta get some plants in there too. Okay, so that's a start, you guys. I feel like we should probably have some torches. Don't I have a, a torch that I made for Jurassic World? Didn't I make a torch thingy? I mean, there's those, but I thought I made a... Let me see. Maybe I'll have to build something. Because I want a nice... I want a nice entry to this, but for now, let's just go ahead and put a couple props down. What about the monster torch? <gasps> oh, cool. I try to limit my use of torches because they do slow down your game a little bit, but I don't think a couple of them are going to hurt anybody. And that gives us a very Jurassic World kind of feel. And you get that nice sound of the fire when you're like right in here. That nice fire sound. Love that. All right. So before we figure out this area, the plaza, why don't we put in some trees and stuff? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want to build, we got to build the supports that these things are on top of. So let's build some wooden supports. Why don't we use, let's use the Palisade brick. And the, uh, what color is that? Is that dark orange? I think it's dark orange. All right, we're gonna use the Palisade brick in the dark orange color. And we're gonna give ourselves a nice little support here. Yeah. This is not the most efficient way to do it. So I'll probably actually copy this. Should we do... Let's do an L shape. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Then we're going to copy that. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Then we're going to copy that to save some time, you guys. So let's copy it. Oh wait, I don't want to do it that way. Okay. We're gonna copy this. Just that section now. Did I not get the one down there? That's silly. Oh well, we'll just do those. Perfect. Okay, so now you guys, we can do them on other places. 
Jonathan, thank you for the donation. DSG, I have a question. How much money would you want me to donate so you can make a custom house for me in LEGO Worlds? Make a custom house for you? I don't know. I'll have to think about that. I guess it depends on how complicated you'd want the house to be for how much time it would take me. <laughs> we can chat about that on Discord. Um... Okay, let's just do each of the corners for now. So we'll go to this corner. Uh, did we get a new follower? Thank you for following. Perfect, now we're no longer floating, you guys. I mean, nothing's wrong with floating, but usually, usually Lego builds don't float, right? <laughs> okay. We'll put them underneath here too. Yeah, let's do it like that. Okay, then we'll do this side. That's gonna be, yeah, that's fine. A little different. Oh, that looks good, you guys. I love that. Okay, let's get this corner too. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I wanna stay in this lodge, you guys. Oh, let's do it here too, actually. And we're gonna go all the way down into the ground so we're nice and anchored in there. Uh, Jonathan, that's too much. <laughs> Shout out to Jonathan for donating $40 in chat. That might be one of the largest uh, super chats of the entire channel's history. Yes, Jonathan, that's more than enough. <laughs> so on, on Discord, you can tell me all about this house that you want and what you want it to look like. Thank you, Alex, for your donation. If no one likes Dragon Slayer, everybody is dead. <laughs> oh, Brody, I'm sorry to hear that. Dogs are part of the family. Have you seen the new Jurassic World movie yet? No, I haven't seen it yet. I'm a terrible Jurassic World fan. I haven't seen it yet. We'll have to fix the stairs right there, you guys, because that looks kind of silly. But at least we have supports now. The Safari Lodge is looking beautiful. All right, let's put one in over here. Let's put one in right here. Amazing! DSD should play Terraria. You know, I have it. I've just never really played it. <laughs> I have so many games. This looks so good! I have so many games that I just haven't played. <laughs> I love the way this is looking, you guys. Do we need support? We need supports here, too, by the stairs, I feel like. Um, let's do it like this. Yeah, that makes sense. This way they're the same or similar on both sides. Wait. Is that right? Oh no, that's too high up. And that's too low. That's weird. Okay, well that works. Whatever. Okay, cool. Oh, that's totally different. That's fine, whatever. It's holding up the bridge. <laughs> that's all that matters. We need more lights over here because if you can't see and you're walking to your cabin in the middle of the night and a dinosaur comes and eats you, that's a big liability. It's a very big liability. I made a soccer field. You did, that's awesome. If you guys make stuff in Lego Worlds, let me see. Make sure you post it on Discord, because I'd love to see what you guys are building. Jaeger says, I made my own Jurassic World and made the Main Street. I use your models. That's awesome. I made a cool volcanic area, and the world is called Lego District. I love that. Play Kingdoms and Castles, designer slash gamer. Kingdoms and Castles. What's that? 
Okay, you guys, let's extend the bridge. I want to get a few more of these, uh, a few more of these built in here. And then we'll decorate this with palm trees. And then I got to think about what I want to do here. Because I want to do something really cool at the entrance. I'm just not sure what yet. So I got to think about that. But what I don't have to think about is the fact that I want to build more casitas. So let's build some more casitas. <gasps> One over here could be nice. Let's put in the casita first and then we'll figure out how to get the bridge to it. What are we calling these? Bungalow? Let's do this one with the open door. And we'll put it like right over here. Oh, it's so dark. Why does it get, you know, it, I just, I would love it if you could just like tell the game to only be nighttime or daytime. It would make filming my videos so much easier if I had that possibility. Oh, this will be nice right here, tucked in like that. Oh, cool. Look at that. It even touches the palm tree right there. The little palm leaf goes down into the house. <gasps> Amazing! And we gotta figure out how to fix the, we'll have to extend the pillars on these two. Okay, so let's figure out how we, oh, does that line up with our bridge? Pretty dang close. Okay, but we'll need a stair though too. Let's put one coming right out the door and then we'll figure out how to get the stairs to it. Does that line up? Did I really line that up without even trying you guys? Am I that good? <laughs> Am I that good? Am I seriously that good? I think I lined it up without even trying. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's lined up. That's, a, that's beautiful, you guys. All right, let's get some stairs in. This will be the tricky part. Let's do this. Like that? Yeah. How low do we have to, oh, okay. Let's put another one of those in and then we'll just try and add like a stair or two. What if we now do, let's see how this will look. Oh, like that maybe? Let's see what it looks like. Okay, beautiful. We gotta figure out railings and stuff, but at least that's pretty dang good, you guys. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, let's do this. I, we need to, we need to extend these pillars. So we're just gonna use whatever, um, whatever brick, this is what is this one by one brick and white sure let's pick white and we'll just put the one by one brick in uh how should we do this let's go down here when i'm extending pillars i like to get down to a part where i can see the underside and then hold shift and click and drag and then that usually does it yep perfect Okay, that one's good. This one's good. And that one's good. Great. Beautiful. All right, what other ones need to be extended? This one maybe? Let's do this one. Perfect. Okay, what about this one? Here we go. Okay. You guys, I love our our garden, our uh, safari lodge. Look at this. It's amazing. And when we get all the trees in here and more pathways and bridges and stuff, it's gonna be even better. John says, DSGS sent you the concept on Discord so you can look at it after the stream if you want. I will, thank you, Jonathan. And thank you for that huge donation. Earlier today I built, Roxanne says, earlier today I built a Eter, Eternamax e, Eternatus from Pokemon Sword and Shield in Lego Worlds and it's huge. <gasps> I want to see it. I love Sword and Shield. Ace Game says, what if you dig into the mountain and make an enclosure for the Crystal Dudes? That's a good idea. 
That's a good idea, you know what? Because they like caves, right? We could put it over here somewhere if we dig into the mountain over there. One thing's for sure, you guys. This is amazing. Like, we are building an incredible Jurassic World here. It is so freaking cool. I love this Jurassic World. It's just getting even better and better. And this is a collaboration. I built I built a lot of this stuff, but also a lot of these things were built by other people too. Like I made the I made Main Street, most of Main Street, and I made this uh, Raptor Research Facility and a lot of these other things, and the aviary, and this. But all these other buildings were made by other people. So this is just a really cool collaborative effort. It's amazing. All right. We should put some waterfalls in here too, you guys. Okay, let's let's put some more cabins in. Where should we put them? We have three cabins there. Why don't we put one like here somewhere and connect it to the bridge somehow? Let's do that, that'll look cool. All right, so let's get a cabin. We'll do a closed door cabin down here. And which way should we have it facing? Right now they're all facing, oh, I guess two of them are facing this way. That one's facing that way. Let's have it facing this way. It's all about variety, you guys. Variety, variety, variety. When you're building, make sure you've got variety. Because I, to, in my mind, I think that the builds that look the best always have great variety. That's pretty high up off the cliff. But I want it to be a little higher so we can put the bridge in right there. No, it should probably be lower. Because otherwise, those are going to be way too long. Let's move it down here. Yeah. Actually, we'll put it over here so we have more space for the front. There we go. That way we have more space for the uh, for the uh, walkway and stuff. Cool. Okay. Let's go ahead and extend the pillars into the ground. So if you guys don't recognize this style of architecture, this is actually very similar to the one in Jurassic World Evolution 2. There's a Safari Lodge in that game and this was modeled after that Okay, so let's try and get the bridge out here. Where should the Maybe we build stairs off of this Or it could come from over here No, let's build stairs from this I like that like coming down here and then going that way. Oh wait will that work? No if the stairs come down here, we'll have to like wrap around. Oh, I guess we could do that. Yeah. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. All right, where are those stairs? What am I doing? Here they are. Okay, so let's put the stairs here. And we'll get rid of that railing there. Let's put the stairs like right up against that. Like right here. Okay. And this way you can access this cabin from from right up there. Okay, and should we have it come down a little more? We may have to, oof. Let's have it go straight across now. And see what happens. <laughs> Let's see what happens, you guys. Okay, then maybe it comes this way, and then it we could have it turn once it gets here. It's kind of a long, unnecessarily long <laughs> walkway, but that's okay. It'll look cool. That's all that matters, right? It'll be very cool. Okay, then it comes then it wraps back around this way, maybe? Like that. And then we could have it come down. Actually, let's have it come across one more. And then we'll have it come down. This will actually look really cool. Yeah. That's going to look neat. Okay, then we'll have it come down with some more stairs. I love these modular buildings. It's really cool when you can just make a building any shape you want, just using the modular pieces. 
Okay, yeah, let's do that. And then, uh, we might have to clear some of that out. Yeah. Oh! Let's clear some of this out, you guys. There we go. Let me smooth it a little bit. Oh no, I broke our bridge. Okay, we'll just paint that. Down. You wouldn't even be able to see that really. Oh, I just painted the bridge. I'm so silly. There we go. Okay. And really you won't even see that because we're going to have stuff built all the way around here. We're going to have palm trees and vines and it's going to be amazing. All right. And I promise to check the chat momentarily, you guys. Well, I kind of like how the ground kind of touches the stairs here. That looks cool. Okay, what level? Oh, that's probably good. All right, let's see if we can build a bridge here from the door. Oh, wait, we're probably going to want this one, right? Yeah. Uh, we'll go to the door, though, which is going to be here. Is this the right height? I think so. Let's try it. All right, then this one. Is that right? Yes! Perfecto! Look at that, you guys. That's beautiful. Max, this is amazing. Okay, then we just have to break the railing. Oh, it looks so good. We gotta break the railing right here. I mean, I guess it could be like a gate. We also have to build a support system for right here so these can be held up. What do you guys think of the Safari Lodge so far? Looking pretty good, right? Tour one house? Yeah, let's do that. Good idea. Bring back the Jurassic Realm. Well, we technically never had a Jurassic Realm, right? <laughs> I just, we, we really can't right now. We have too much going on, but... That's not to say we won't in the future. Okay, I have to copy that again, you guys. We gotta copy it again. Let's copy it. Whoop. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna build the support system here. Let's do... Let's do this. Yeah. Beautiful. Then we'll do this on this side. And then that. Oh wait, I messed it up. Dang it. There we go. Nice, okay. That looks so good. Okay, let's think, let's let's go ahead and tour one of these lodges and then we will build some more lodges. But this is working so well, having the lodge up here. <gasps> you guys, the T-Rex is gonna come and stomp on one of the lodges. I just know it. All right, here we go. Ready, Max? We're gonna go into Max's perspective here and we're gonna go up the stairs. Wow, looks so good. And we're gonna go tour one of those lodges. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. I guess we could tour that one. Is the door open? Yeah, the door is open. All right, we'll go tour that one. Oh, but it's nighttime. All right, Max, spin this guy. <gasps> Ooh, dang it. There we go. Okay, ready? Okay, so here is one of the lodges from the outside. And you go in and you've got this beautiful bed with little lampposts next to it, right? You got some plants and some curtains, big giant windows, a nice open airy ceiling, a nice little bench here. And look at your view, you guys. Look at your view of Jurassic World out there. 
You got the volcano. You got the aviary way back over there. You got the raptors research facility. You got a little bathtub in here. Some more curtains. And you can see out to, Jurass to the rest of uh, Bricksburg out there. And you got a nice little uh, toilet and a bidet. <laughs> Just kidding. That's a sink. And then that's it. Pretty nice, right? There were actually other cabins as well. Like he made a variation of cabins, but I only copied, I think, the one. And then the one with the closed door. But we can't go in the one with the closed door because the door is closed. But we could look at it from the ceiling. But I think it's probably the same or very similar. Yeah, it's pretty similar. So yeah. Okay, you guys, let's build another one. And then I want to figure out what to do with our stairs. Oh, let's get rid of this railing. I want to figure out what to do with our stairs to make this look nicer. Because this looks kind of janky right here. So we got to figure out how to make our railing look good there. And then we'll figure out what lights to put in. And yeah. All right. Rebuild. Add a remove. Remove. Change it to a square. Or cube, rather. Okay. Make it a little smaller. Is that good? Yeah. Perfect. One more. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Now we have a nice little way to get through there. Okay. So, where should we put another one, you guys? I want to have a bunch of these. How about, like, right there? But how would we build the bridge to get there? I don't know. What do you think, Max? <laughs> Max isn't sure. Did I miss anything in the chat? You should build a path connecting to a viewing gallery so they can see the T-Rexes from there. That's a great idea. That's a really good idea. We'll do that later. But that's a great idea because then we could build a path that goes back I want because I want to build more of these cabins back in here. But when we're done figuring out where that line is. Hey, one of the tractor the pterodactyls is taking a bath, you guys. Look. Are you taking a little bath? Hi, little pteranodon. What's up? <laughs> He's taking a bath. Hi, buddy. So once we get this neighborhood built up back here, then we could maybe build like an, oh, we could build like an underground tunnel that goes through here and peeks out into Jurassic, into uh, T-Rex Kingdom with a little viewing gallery. So you can see, cause T-Rex Kingdom's nice. We haven't finished it yet. There's a lot of missing wall sections, but it's coming along pretty well. But yeah, that's a great idea. Hi, Rex. Hi. That's a good idea. We'll do that in the future. All right, so let's put another one of these over here somewhere. How about like right there? Maybe. Let's see. We'll do... Did we just do a closed door one? Let's do an open door one. This one. Oh yeah, you guys, I forgot about these. So he made these little cool uh, hut sections to go like in the corners. So look at this. They just sort of like sit in the corner like that. Isn't that cool? Look at that. So we could put a few of these in here. Maybe there could be like one here. And then one here. Just sort of scatter them throughout. And maybe like another one down here. Like right there. Like that. Cool, right? Okay, let's get another one of these. We'll do an open door one up here. Oh, this will be like the most expensive one. Because <laughs> you're like right here on top of the, like right, you have the best view. I guess the door will face that way. And let's have it coming off the cliff like that. Like all the way to the edge. Oh, this one's amazing, you guys. Sink it down a little bit into the ground here. 
Yes, look at that. Beautiful view. All right, let's build the pillar here. It goes all the way down like that. And that one is already connected. We don't need to build through there. That'll be fine. This one needs one. Yeah, cool. Okay. That one's cool, you guys. I want to see what the view is like from up there. Max. Oh no, Max! Max! Max, are you stuck in the ceiling? Max! Okay, you guys, let's skydive. Where is it? Where are we going to find it? Oh, there it is right there. <laughs> okay, is this it? Ow! Sorry, Max. Okay, let's see the view, you guys. Oh. <gasps> Whoa, look at the view from the windows here. Oh my gosh. Too bad the curtains are blocking it. <gasps> there, there's a raptor research facility right there. And then you got the volcano back there. Main street over there. We got to get rid of those curtains. Okay, let's get rid of the curtains, you guys. <laughs> the curtains are blocking us. We don't want curtains right here. Forget it. The view is incredible. Is there a window there? Yes. I think some of the variations that he made have no curtains or like open curtains. We'll leave that curtain there because there's nothing to see through there. Or at least not as much. Cool. All right. So now, now the view just got even better, you guys. Look at that. You can watch, you can literally watch the raptors being trained in their facility. And then in your, in the master bedroom area, you've got this beautiful view of, of Bricksburg out there. Nice big comfy bed. And then the rest of the park out this way. Amazing. What do you guys think? Pretty cool, right? You should add helicopters. We actually do have one helicopter. I think you can probably see it through this window. Where is it? We have one helicopter in Main Street somewhere. I don't know if you can see it from here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and build a bridge to this and then we're going to call it a stream, you guys. And then next time, we'll decorate it. We'll put trees everywhere and vines and lights and we'll make it really nice. Okay. And I'm having so much fun with this, you guys. I was just going to do this for like a month or two, but let's keep it going. We're going to keep it going for the foreseeable future because it's actually really fun. Okay, let's build some stairs. I need a little I needed a little bit of break from Bricksburg, but I've had my break and I want to come back and do some more building. Okay. Can we connect this better like that? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, actually wait. No, let's go all the way to the edge. Like that. That's better. Okay, then we're going to go this way. Where am I going to connect? Oh, right there. <gasps> Does that line up? No. There's no way I lined that up. There's no way I lined that up. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. There's no way in the world I lined that up. It's lined up. You guys. I promise you I didn't do that on purpose. I did not do that on purpose. That's amazing. You like it, new Dino Wizard? Thank you. I'm glad you like it. And it's gonna look even better once we get it all filled in with some beautiful uh, palm trees and stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and put the stairs in. I can't believe we lined that up. I didn't even try to, it just happened. The thing is, I love it when things line up and I love symmetry so much that I think I just subconsciously do it <laughs> because I love it so much. Okay. Let's go down here like that. Do I want to just do straight down? Oh, that's kind of steep. Let's do this. Oh, but we have to go down pretty far to get down to that level though. I think we're going to have to clear this away, you guys. Let's clear this away. So 
Sorry for your ears. Sorry for your ears, guys. It's loud. Try and make it look a little more organic. That's why I like to use the sphere. Because it lets you make kind of an organic shape. I just broke our stairs! Dang it! That's fine. Let's paint this. Okay. Easy fix. There we go. Okay, we're just gonna go straight down. They're gonna be very steep stairs. <laughs> That'll be fine though. Maybe like one down, one more down? Yeah, okay. Oh, should we just change this whole thing into like one big platform? Let's do that, you guys. All right. Um, yeah, let's, let's just get rid of the railings here. Wait, I want, this is the wrong shape. I want a cube. There we go. Oh! Yeah, we're just gonna bust through all the railings. And we're gonna make just like a platform right here. Yeah. Okay, so then let me get my... This guy. And see how we can make this work. Oh, no. That's how we'll do it. Like that. Yes. Okay. Then I'll get rid of that piece and we'll just fill that in. Ah! There we go. Okay, cool. So now all we have to do is fill in the missing sections, right? So let's just do this the quick way. Let's just copy this. Uh, wait, I probably only want to copy like two. Yeah. Okay. Wait, why did you do that? I guess that works. Sure, whatever. That's fine. It's not going to be like the pattern is not going to be perfect, but that's okay. I don't think anyone's going to notice the pattern. As long as the colors are right, that's all I really care about right now. Cool. Okay, so then let's just fill in the railing and we did it, you guys. We did it. All right, what's the best way to do this? Maybe copying in a portion of it? Yeah, let's just copy like this portion. There we go. That works. Okay. You guys know I love copying and pasting. It saves so much time. Especially since you can overlap. Like that. Oh, I should have copied the floor piece too. Oh, well. Okay. So we'll overlap this one here. Perfect. All right. Then all we have to do is put in one of these pieces here. Wait, what is that? One by three, orange tile. It would be really cool if the copy tool also copied the color, wouldn't it? But it doesn't. Okay, guys, I've been neglecting the chat. I'm so sorry. I promise to check it before we end the stream. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Let's spin the sky and let's walk through our entire structure here. It looks nice at night, though. I'll give it that. But we're going to light this all up so that it looks even better at night. <gasps> wow. Look at that. Look how good that looks up there. It's so beautiful. 
Okay, what am I what am I missing in the chat? Build a movie theater or water park in two weeks. <laughs> what? Uh maybe we'll see. Hi Will. You're talking about the mod helicopter. Which which mod helicopter? Which mod helicopter are you talking about? Okay, so here's the entrance. And you go up here. And the first thing you'd want to do is go and check in, of course, at the front desk, which is right here. And then they are going to figure out which beautiful accommodations you like. And if you want to pay 6,000 bricks per night, then you get the premium cabin, which is right here. And you get the best view in the entire park, right there, in the premium cabin. And it's amazing. All right, my friends, thank you so much for hanging out today. I hope you guys had a good time. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video. Also, subscribe if you haven't yet. Ding that little bell so you get notified when there's a new video on the channel. And I will see you guys next time. Okay. Bye, guys. No! Help! Where is he? I gotta eat something. I almost died. Oh, look at that creeper over there. Um, do you think there's more treasure over here? There could be some treasure up here. Oh, look! 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 Oh my gosh! Oh no! <gasps> Bells. I don't even have that much. I see. I can see the idea of impeachable style and taste is a bit outside your comfort zone, hun. Ooh, she just clocked me. You're a giraffe. What do you know about style, Gracie? Gracie, I think you're so cool. She's really, she's a lot cooler than me, I gotta say. Giraffe or not, she's way cooler than me. After me, it's gonna kill me! <sighs> Style influencer <laughs> or a criminal? Is there a difference? Actors will need to join a talent agency. No, what about style influencer? By identifying the right color, we need some music. What are we doing? By identifying the right colors, the trendy patterns, the unseen ensemble pairings. I'm so good at ensemble pairings. I always pair my hoodies with my sweatpants. We got him, you guys! Yay! Okay, well you guys know that means we need to actually ride the dolphin. So let's let's jump on the dolphin here. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Uh, Die trying to defend him. Like the movie, remember? Captain Carol understands. It's so good. She doesn't lecture me about justifiable force like my other commanders. She knows all I need is a target. Politics are for admirals. I keep it simple. Always shoot to kill. Mess with the squadron and you mess with me. But do your job and I'll have your back. Can I call you Scarface? Later. Customers have all been taken care of. Good work, Ku. Why don't you call it a day? Okay. Whew. That was a lot of work. I'm like worn out now. You were really following, flowing with the coffee today, Ku. Excellent work. Good. I got written up last time, you guys. I came this close to getting fired. And actually, Pearl threw her coffee in my face. Yeah. Stand on top of the old house. Stand on top. Stand. Oh, up here. right here. <clears throat> Where 
Everyone safety. Do not go past this point. <gasps> uh <laughs> What is that? What is what is what is that thing? <laughs> it's the holding place for all the flowers until spring comes back. Hey bro, what's up? Frank says, uh-oh. Oh no, Frank! Frank! Living on this island ain't bad, but I've been thinking I might just pull up stakes and here and move. Oh, Frank! Sure, I got lots of friends around these parts, but I wonder what's out there for me on the other islands. Nothing! Sand! Palm trees! Oh, that sounds so you can actually put a dead animal in a grave? No, he just he just put they've just put the head in the grave. Oh. I have a whole box full of heads. Oh. <laughs> Where's Crookshank's head? I didn't get that because they killed it, not me. Did you guys get Crookshank's head? If I go into your house and see an area rug in the color of Crookshank, finish this. Okay, we're gonna slow down. Then. Am I out of... There we go. I have two missiles left, you guys. I'm gonna launch them both. And one away. Yes! Oh, they're just, they're hitting me, too. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. It was all me. Me! <gasps> okay. So yeah, just don't watch the stream so that you're surprised. Because, you know, it's no fun if you know where the eggs are, right? You'd never want to, like, follow your parents around while they're hiding eggs. You'd never, <laughs> you'd never want to follow the Easter Bunny around. <laughs> oh man, you'd never. I mean, he's the judge in the court, not the judge in Team Disney. <laughs> he says order. <laughs> you have no Just authority. Keep in mind, here. I do have, I do have two extra netherite ingots on me. Is that a threat? No. <laughs> if I join your team, you have a chance of getting more netherite. Oh. Did you hear that, Lego Kid? Can we make him a diamond pickaxe? Yes! Yes! Crookshanks! Crookshanks! I got a new kitty cat! <laughs> That's my kitty! That's Crookshanks! Say hi, kitty, kitty, kitty! She's probably digging up a fossil or catching a fish. Olaf! Noodles, now that you're here, this is the most happening spot on Ivory Isle. You said that to me last time, Olaf. I'm gonna start to think that you don't mean it. Let's talk. Oh, you look toasty and trendy in your reindeer costume. <laughs> trendy? I don't know about that. <laughs> Do you guys see why he's my favorite? Now you know. If you didn't know why before, now you know. That's why he's my favorite. Series, because that was the thing you guys really wanted was the boxer shorts. <laughs> you need to be wearing... Oh, you're right. Dang it. <laughs> All right, let's... Let's go back and change to the 64 outfit. What are you doing, Mario? Mario? What are you doing? Why does he keep hiding from me? Why is he doing that? <laughs> Why, hello, dear. Do you want to hear about my latest experiment? Sure. I was wondering if it's... I can't do the voice, sorry. It was possible that the monsters dropped something delicious. Maybe a dessert? A tasty pudding? Sure. Great. Now that you're on board, would you please gather some mucus? Gross, Mrs. Apple. She's disgusting. <laughs> Seems to be a suitable substitute for gelatin. Gelatin? Gelatin? Does she mean to say gelatin? I don't think there's an E on gelatin. Because otherwise it'd be gelatin. How do we fit inside there? You guys, how does Santa do this? Maybe we need to just... We'll just we'll blow a tiny hole into the... Uh, 
into the fire into the fireplace here. So let's just 